These are replicas of some of the jewelry belonging to Imelda Marcos, part of a stash she tried to smuggle out of the Philippines after her husband, President Ferdinand Marcos, was ousted in a people's uprising in 1986. The artist, Pio Abad, was partly inspired by his parents, who were anti-Marcos activists. The Marcos' vast collection of valuable paintings are also on display, reproduced on postcards. Visitors are encouraged to take some home, a way to reclaim what the artist says belongs to Filipinos. It helps us to uh, remember what the martial law period was about and how the Marcoses um, used art and culture, uh, how they acquired an ostentatious um, collection of objects that supported their idea of what um, their life should be. The Manila Film Center is seen as another testament to Marcos excess. Just two months before its grand opening in 1982, there was an accident at the construction site. Emergency workers were barred from entering the area for nine hours, and the then Marcos administration ordered a media blackout. It's estimated at least 160 workers were killed, buried in concrete. This is an example of how the Marcos family do not care for people's lives, especially the workers. One of the most sorrowful things is they did not even spare time to retrieve the bodies. They just ordered construction to continue. Despite the tainted legacy, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. is the front-runner to follow in his father's footsteps. The kind of politics that we have, it's not much of a system to begin with. It's just, uh, you know, a choice between different political families and personalities. So while Marcos may be an elite himself, he is not seen to belong to the same group of elites that has ruled the Philippines in the past 30 years. Other analysts say Junior's rise can mostly be attributed to a disinformation campaign which aims to recast the rule of Marcos Sr. as a golden age for Filipinos. If Marcos Jr. succeeds, it would give him wide powers over government agencies tasked to recover as much as $10 billion stolen by his father during his 20-year rule. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Manila.